Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, I just got back from Supernova 2015, um, and I thought before I put my shit away, I'd show you guys what I picked up. Um, so first, I do comics. Um, first, picked up uh, Planet Hulk issue one. I really want to find the Planet Hulk, um, the old version graphic novel, but um, the shop didn't have it. Got uh, so, okay. I'll just show these in the bulk. Um, I got all of these guys, all superior foes of Spider-Man, all the issues I needed, except this last one here was a miss, I picked that one up by mistake, uh, so I'm missing issue 10, awesome run through, love superior foes of Spider-Man, so that's the big company comics, um, also picked up the volume, the third volume of Saga, awesome read, uh, picked up an indie comic, um, Job done, fat assassin. So, still yet to pick this up. A good uh, man, a new friend in our boys comic uh, by Bold Comics. Uh, Brigand's Tale. Very excited to got it signed too. Very excited to give that a read. Uh, picked up a Simpson comic which I needed for the collection. Uh, it's one I grew up reading and uh, needed a, a good copy. So, really happy to have that. And um, as you guys know, I'm a huge Ronan Snippy fan. And I picked up uh, this comic. Um, I wanted to check out what they were like from the 90s. Uh, it's pretty shitty, but it came with this, which um, I was ecstatic about. Um, it's probably the main reason I bought it. And this really cool poster. So it will be on my wall next time I uh, do a uh, room tour. Next, I'll show um, the only DVD I got. Uh, this is. I love voice acting. Um, it's probably my. I look up to voice actors more than in normal actors, but um, it's a documentary by John DiMaggio. Um, I know that voice. Really good. You guys should check it out. So I picked that one up. Um, I also got two intro decks to Magic, uh, white decks. Um, I find it the, my favorite type of deck. It's really good. White Planewalkers. I also picked up a starter deck for Yu-Gi-Oh. played a couple of games with this deck, and every time I've won... Um, now I think I'll show the figures. Um, first, uh, Big Hole walked in and um, Nancy Cartwright was meant to be there, but she wasn't. So um, there was a lot of Simpsons stuff there. So I picked up Sideshow Mel. Um, I got this guy. He's a character I didn't really need to get yet. I was holding off because I'm not the biggest fan of the guy. But it was cheaper than I would have to pay online, so I picked him up. It says 30 there, but he actually cost me 20 I think. could have been 15 can't really remember. Then, um, that same purchase, yeah, he was 15, because I also got uh, the Krusty Burger, which is a place that I've been trying to hunt down, but couldn't find for a reasonable price, but that as well for 45 with the same guy. Last but not least, I walked in and seen this and got it, didn't even try and barter, the Simpsons um, Toy Zara exclusive playset Christmas. Uh, it's really cool, love both playsets, the uh, Christmas one will be staying in box. So that was all the figures I got. Uh, the last thing I got, um, really excited to show you guys this. Not this. This first one's really cool, but the next, the next item's really amazing. I got um, this. My Star Wars signed by the storyboard artist who worked on Attack of the Clones. And um, as you guys might know, some of you, um, I'm actually at university trying to become a storyboard artist. So meeting him and getting some tips was really cool. And he's doing a really cool Jawa. So, um, also, you guys should check out my Instagram. I put up a lot of pictures. And this um, was the reason I went to the Pacific Con I went to and the reason I was so excited. I finally got my Stimpy figure signed by the man, Billy West. So, this is um, my holy grail in my collection now. He was awesome to meet. We got him to do the salesman voice. I went to all these panels. Yeah, it was really cool. Awesome convention with the friends. Um, excited about everything. So, um, yeah, that was all my pickups. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, stay cheesy, 11th, crazy.